Good morning, Metaverse. I'm Thor with the OCG and Mafia Guilds, and today we are going to get our tape measures out. We're going to look at who's got the biggest guns. We want to see ships that are punching above their weight class, and I'm talking about the Fimbule Erp, the Fimbule Mamba, and the Calico ATS Enforcer. So let's get into the ring and get this party started. First ship we're going to go over today is the Fimbule Erp. Now I've done a full review on this one and it'll be in the links below. So I'm going to go th quick through this one and spend more time on the Fimbule Mamba and the ATS Enforcer. Now quick market update. Take a look at this. You can pick up a Fimbule Erp for $168. Its origination price is $895. And remember, the earning potential for Atlas is based off of its origination price. So that's a massive reduction. That's just crazy. And so what we're going to look at as far as its firepower is components. It's got two medium hard points, and it is a small class fighter ship. So with the two medium hard points, that's going to be overpowered for most other small ships in its weight class. And then it also has one medium impulse engine, which means it's got extra speed on this as well. So when you're talking about dogfights, it says specifically in its description, dogfights against one of these puppies is not recommended because it is it is already got one up on most other small class fighter ships with rockets in the back and cannons up front. If you want to play a PvP game style where you're not going to be going deep into space and you're not worried about fuel consumption, then the Fimbule Erp is a great one to look at and is definitely a powerful puncher. So next, let's get into the Fimbule Mamba, which is kind of like the Erp's older cousin has got a few screws loose uh, likes to fight and you definitely want him on your side so let's check him out all right so we have the fimbule erp and this one is a medium class ship and it is a bounty hunter ship it's the second bounty hunter ship that we've seen so far the only other one is the visas Amboy, and I've done a review which is, will be in the links below, but this is actually a class larger than that. It is medium class, and so coming down, crew slots, uh, one captain, one pilot, co-pilot, and a turret gunner. Now, it, it's just brand new on the market as of right now, so it's trading for origination price. And in its components, what we'll look at is the two weapon hard points that are medium, so two medium weapons and then two large weapons, which that's where it gets its overpowered firepower from those two extra large slots. And then also it's got a impulse engine of a large slot. So large engines and large guns, much like the Fimbule Erp. Uh, it's got one missile bay and then it's got a brig for module and a small ammo slot. So a little bit extra ammunition, but it's definitely heavy on that firepower. Uh, and you can take on, you know, larger ships with this. It's, it's got the two mediums and the two large. Um, so much like the Amboy, it has two different sizes of guns. Um, I, I would imagine for being able to take out a larger uh, variety of ships and reduce its firepower if it needs to in order to take a, a bounty alive. But, you know, taking a look at, at these uh, pictures going through, there's got a lot of really good detail and a lot of pictures to it. And I noticed uh, we have this sort of a four gun, almost like it's a drone or it's a module, maybe some other components that are able to be changed in and out for the Fimbule Mamba. I don't know about this. I know a lot of the concept art um, might have details of other parts um, and other ships that haven't come out on, on the market yet. And so that's something to take a look at. Um, much like with the Pierce uh, C9 had the hull tanks that were in the pictures, maybe this is a drone module that can be added and uh, go alongside with the Mamba. If that's the case, that would be really cool. That's not confirmed, that's just theory crafting. Uh, but we see it in several of the pictures. And I think that would be a really neat idea. But yeah, the detail from the, the Fimbule uh, concept art is, is stellar. And I mean, yeah, that's exactly what this bad boy is. Double barrel shotguns, 
that's the feeling that I'm getting from the, the Fimbul Mamba. Definitely, definitely a heavy hitter. Uh, so it fits right here with our overpowered punching above your weight without a doubt. Okay, cool. So this is the Fimbul Mamba. Um, and there's some really good pictures in here with the cut views to see like the inside. I really like those and they actually give you a couple different uh, scenarios and, and colors that, that this uh, might be coming in. So in regards to skins and that kind of stuff. And then the blueprints are always good to, to go through to see the little details um, of the ship. Uh, like for example, the fuel tank is, is underneath of it. And so if you're taking on a Mamba and you're outgunned, which is most likely the case, uh, then maybe that's the uh, area that you try to target uh, in defense. But so let's go into the next ship, which is the Calico ATS Enforcer. And we're talking big old guns. This guy is got a massive cannon on its front end and its origination price is 2245 Right now, it is trading for $1,000, And when I look at this thing, it's a medium class ship. It's a fighter. It's got a pilot and a co-pilot, so not a lot of crew. But what it does have is it's hard points. It has one capital slot hard point. That is a cannon. That is a massive cannon. And then it's got two medium hard points and then two missile bays. Tons of firepower here. And then in addition to that, it's modules. It has one medium ammunition module and one fuel module. So this thing can, can fly far and hit hard, turn around and get back out. When I look at the, the Enforcer, I'm seeing pirates would absolutely dominate with this thing. This is a capital ship killer, okay? If you get five or six of these going at a capital ship, you've outgunned it. Capital ships have four capital guns, and with these medium-sized ships, you can outgun them and start hitting way above your weight. I would look at all of these big firepower type ships in the way that kind of like a money ball where you're buying hits. Um, if you've ever seen that movie, they're looking at, at baseball players based off of the, their hit percentage and they're buying hits uh, versus trying to get high priced players, good overall players, or uh, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff to it, but essentially you're buying strikes on a capital ship. And that's just a cool way to think about that. And I think effective way to, to, to go through this. Um, and when you first look at it, it's kind of hard to see exactly how big this gun is. A couple of these pictures give you multiple views and the capital hard point is about the size of the ship itself. And it is just staring down the barrel of death. I, I think this one is overpowered. If there's going to be an OP, ship in star atlas to start out with my money's on the enforcer and then on top of that i think there's in some of these pictures you get a pretty good view of not just the detail of it but its ability to change shape oh dude i've seen this somewhere mm, where was that oh i know can anyone say robotech macross saga come on that's great that is space battle history if you haven't seen it macross saga definitely check it out donna sterling yeah I, I had a huge crutch on donna sterling and it actually turns out my wife has her same personality except she has red hair so she scares me a little bit but uh you know it keeps life exciting anyway i'm going to enjoy having the mech style spaceships in the star atlas metaverse and i'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that do as well and just to reiterate i am going to be keeping my head on a swivel watching out for these ats enforcers especially if you're flying in a capital ship uh, don't think that you're safe you would have good reason to have all hands on deck keep an eye out for these bad boys with that in mind, whether you are looking at the Fimbul Erp, the Fimbul Mamba, or the Calico ATS Enforcer, all of these ships punch way above their weight. 
and give the small guy the ability to keep the bigger players in check which I think is going to bring a lot of diversity and excitement to the game and keep any one player from getting too far out uh, from the comp competition of, of everybody else. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're looking at these ships and, and how you want to play. Uh, PvP, let's get in there, get down and dirty. Uh, these are some of your heaviest hitters that you want to look at. Hopefully this video was helpful. Don't worry about liking or subscribing. Screw the algorithm. Punch it in the face. I don't care. But if you know somebody that would find this useful, go ahead and share it with them. Or if they're looking to get involved in the Star Atlas community, bring them over here and we would love to talk more about Star Atlas. It's something I love. I want to find more people that want to play this game and see the potential in it. Uh, definitely check out all the links to Star Atlas on the Discord and its websites um, and, and get involved. So if you can do that, then today was a good day. Good morning, Metaverse.